everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me because some areas of my home were absolutely trashed. I'm also going to be taking down all of my Christmas decor and kind of refreshing a few areas because I needed to move some furniture around, add in some decor, just kind of get the house back in order after all of the Christmas decorations. So we have a lot to get done in today's video, so let's just get on into it. Okay, so as you can see, I was not <laughs> joking when I said that the kitchen was trashed. I do have a good excuse though. So on Christmas and right after Christmas, me and my husband and both of the boys came down with the stomach flu. And fun, weird fact about me, I am 30 years old and I have not thrown up since I was 15. I don't know what it is, never thrown up. I've never thrown up from like alcohol or from pregnancy or anything like that. So when I say I had the stomach flu, basically I mean I felt sick to my stomach, like couldn't get out of bed for a couple days. But my husband and both of the boys actually got sick so the house was looking a little rough but this day I was the first one sick so I was the first one feeling better so I decided to go downstairs tackle it get it clean so I wanted to show this because if you're currently feeling overwhelmed in your kitchen or any part of your house is looking like this I know it's so overwhelming but what I told myself was okay I'm gonna focus on the island I'm going to take all the trash off the island now I'm gonna take all the dishes that are on the island and put them in the sink now I'm unloading the dishwasher so I can put those in the dishwasher and so on. So I hope that this can be some motivation for you. Um, I know that it can feel like embarrassing or like nobody else's house is as messy as yours, or at least that's how I feel, but I think it's normal with kids especially to have your house kind of have ups and downs. So I wanted to show that in today's video. I've need a company from you So typically when I clean or just wipe down the kitchen, I basically usually use a multi-purpose spray. I know it can be kind of controversial and I do get comments sometimes like, why aren't you using bleach or things like that? But as you can see, I did go in with like a disinfectant on this day because I just wanted to make sure that all the germs and the virus were out of the house. I also went around the whole house and wiped down doorknobs and light switches and all of that. I actually bought myself this lamp. I wanted to treat myself for hitting 100,000 subscribers and I was like, hmm, what could I, what could I get to treat myself? And so I went to Target and I saw this lamp. I think it was like $40 and I bought it and I was playing around with it. Um, I don't know if I love it. So I honestly am, I hate spending money, so the thought that I don't love it, and it was like maybe 40 or $50, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna return it. I ended up just putting the old lamp back in that little area, but we'll see, we'll see. It was supposed to be a little present to myself, but uh, I don't know. Now I will have this linked, um, it's in like my Amazon storefront, but my mom got me this for Christmas. I actually sent her the link because I knew I wanted it, but I love it. I showed it in my Amazon favorites video, which I think is the video before this one. And it's just amazing. I think it was like $27. There's just so many different utensils and measuring cups and a little holder and they're so pretty and I just love them. So if you're someone that needs kind of like all new utensils or maybe you're moving out for the first time or whatever, I highly recommend this set. Like too much? Cause I think area above the sink looks so weird and so empty without this garland. I never noticed it before, but after taking the garland down, it feels so weird to have like such a big window and not have a curtain, but I've never had a window above the sink before and I feel like a curtain would be weird, right? Or does anyone else do anything with these windows? I've thought about maybe doing like bamboo shades or I don't know. I do need to thrift some more of those blue and white plates because I do want it to go a little higher up the wall just to be more level with the window. But yeah, it just feels so bare up there now. Staring out the window, reaching for a North Star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back to the limbo stuck here in the middle you're 
tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. But if we turn the clocks back a couple dials, we should throw them out because time ain't as all but you feel. Okay, so here is the before shot with all the Christmas decor and you know what? I actually feel like I wasn't ready to take down my Christmas decor this year and every other year Especially with being a youtuber usually I decorate in like Late October early November like it's ridiculous But you do need time to edit the videos and get them up where this year I was super behind on everything So I didn't get my Christmas decor up until like December and usually I am so over it by the time it's Christmas But this year I actually wasn't ready to take it down. I think though I did a really good job with kind of not going as all out as I usually do. Sometimes I go a little too over the top and then I feel like it's too cluttered. But I think I did a good job this year with putting like minimal classic touches. And if you saw my camera in that shot just now, that's because I was filming all this for TikTok and Instagram Reels as well. I've been trying to do like all three all the time. So anytime I'm recording something, I'm like recording on two or three separate devices. the YouTube shorts I posted the other day about Bennett but he is now two years old so his second birthday was December 29th and if you guys haven't been following me for a while I actually had Bennett at 28 weeks pregnant exactly I went into labor with him Christmas 2020 at 27 weeks pregnant so we've had like a long it's been a long journey with him but he is two years old now no health issues whatsoever, no delays. Like he truly is a miracle. So I know I don't show the kids a lot on here anymore just for, sta for safety reasons and you know, to respect their privacy. But I did wanna show you that cute little shot of him. Now, I will not be mad if you're judging me for how I took this Christmas tree down. I love this Christmas tree. I do not like that it's not pre-lit. These lights give me such an issue every year and at this point I was so over it. And I know sometimes I get comments on my videos, like cleaning videos or videos like this, like, oh, why doesn't your husband help you? He does normally, just not on camera. He's very um, introverted, he's not a camera guy, so if I'm gonna film stuff like this, I kinda have to do it on my own. So I was very over it and I, yes, I did take the tree apart before I took the lights off and then I just yanked the lights off and shoved them in a box. So my mom actually got the kids this tent for Christmas. It's from Amazon and I actually found it and then sent her the link because I thought it would be perfect. And it is so, so big. So I was thinking once I take down the Christmas tree, I was gonna put that in its spot. the biggest pile of crackers, of crumbled up crackers I had ever seen. Walk into the place, dispatch your formal race. My heart, it started racing. The crowd across the way, flowers on your face. And then I'm from the 80s. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel this was one of my favorite areas I decorated this year. We just moved into this house. I say just because it feels like we just moved into this house, but I guess it's been like, I don't know, like eight months now, but my top 
thing when we were house hunting. Like if you talk to my realtor, all I ever talked about was a staircase. And there would be houses that were perfect and if they didn't have like a pretty staircase, I would just know, nope, nope, nope. Because I just have this dream of having a staircase. I don't know what it is, but I just really wanted one. And it had to be the kind of staircase where you had railing, not just a wall. And so I was so excited to decorate this for Christmas and put the garland up and it's exactly how I wanted it. And so it was a little sad to take it down. It's blocking my way. really hard time styling the side tables because we do put a lot of stuff on them at night. I always have the baby monitor and then I have lotion for my hands and then my water and um, like my vitamins and oh, just my side tables are so cluttered every day. And I always see cute styled side tables but I never know quite how to style them. So I'm kind of playing around with it. I didn't love the finished look but whatever, you know, <laughs> it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Okay, now I will admit I didn't have a full aftershot for the bedroom because I was tired. <laughs> this was the end of me filming this day and at this point I was so over filming and I just wanted to relax so I kind of halfway made the bed but I didn't put the pillows on and you know what, I feel like if you want to see the finished product you can go watch my big bedroom makeover that I did a few months ago but I hope you'll excuse me, I did not film an aftershot for this. Okay, so after having the tent in this area for a couple days, so this is a few days later, it really, it was feeling, it made the living room feel really small. This is a pretty big tent and it kind of stuck out too far. And I was thinking, you know, we have all these new Christmas toys and we have a playroom upstairs. I really want to utilize that space more. We've actually never used the playroom since moving in because we've never had a chance to fully like organize it and let me tell you, I feel like there's just not enough time in the day. Every day I have all these goals on my to-do list. And so we just have not gotten around to that yet. But that is something, that's one of my New Year's goals. I want to get it done like in January for sure. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to take this tent down and I'm actually going to put it up in the playroom because I just think it would get, it would be better up there. And then I'm going to move the chair that was here before the Christmas tree back in its spot. Go, go. Say hi. Daddy. And as you can see, the living room was super messy with just mostly toys, but I was trying to give you guys a little glimpse into what this would look like. I definitely need a side table for this area or something and like a little lamp. I just don't want to spend the money. So I'm thinking eventually the chair will be scooted over to the left a little bit more and then I'll have a um, side table with a lamp on the side by the window. That's what I'm thinking. I'll tell you what, if there's one thing that I'm not good at, it is mastering the art of toy rotation. I know I get comments all the time that we should do a toy rotation, and I feel like I have tried <laughs> so many different times, and I don't, I'm not good at it. So, <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot of toys everywhere. So right now, currently, like as I'm recording this voiceover, we are trying to clean out the playroom and really get it as functional as possible, and then that way, Toys that are downstairs are like very minimal, just a couple of items, but yeah, I definitely struggle with toy organization and the toy rotation concept. So now I'm 
just tossing some things in the laundry. These are just all new clothes items that we got for Christmas. So just taking off all the tags and getting everything in there because I had like no pants that fit William because he is just growing so fast. So this is what the coffee bar, hot cocoa bar area looks like at the end of the season. So we did use a pretty good amount of hot cocoa and we used most of the mix-ins, but as you can see, it kind of got consolidated. It does not look as cute as it did when I did the video, but that is okay. I'm just gonna take it all down. And this is the area that I'm thinking eventually I'll put my coffee bar and espresso maker. The only issue is it is lower than our counters because I think it's meant to be a, well, I know it's meant to be a desk area. So I don't know if Bennett would mess with it or not. So I've been kind of playing around with the idea though. Oh, and we do have an office, which is why we don't use it as a desk area. Oh, I forgot in this video, I put them over there. So now you can see what I'm talking about. I was just playing around with different things and this isn't how anything's gonna stay, but you can kind of get the feel of what I'm trying to do. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. My next video is a Valentine's Day decor haul that I'm really excited about. And then we're gonna get into my Valentine's Day decorating videos. So I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I'd love for you to leave a comment if you made it this far. It helps out my channel so much. Just a simple comment and a thumbs up. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day.